Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. We've got loads of cool announcements to tell you about this week, including the fact that AWS have introduced the serverless bot framework. Application Load Balancer now supports redirects and fixed response actions. Redshift now provides customized best practice recommendations with Advisor. AWS Greengrass now supports code written in C and C++. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Kroonenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So AWS have introduced serverless bot frameworks, and this is a new framework which enables you to implement chatbots in other languages without having to create your own backend language analysis platform. And it integrates with services like Lambda to apply machine learning algorithms, and also Poly to turn your text into lifelike speech. You can also use DynamoDB to store conversation logs and S3 buckets to store configuration files. And the new announcement is going to be great for developers who want to offer a conversational interface for their application in multiple languages languages. Right now, the supported languages are English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish, with many more to come, I'm sure. Application Load Balancer now supports redirects and fixed response. So with the redirect actions, the Load Balancer can redirect incoming requests from one URL to another. For example, a common use case is to redirect HTTP requests to HTTPS or to redirect users to a new version of your application. And fixed response actions allow you to control which client requests are served by your application and which by the load balancer. For example, you can configure the load balancer to provide custom error messages without forwarding the request to your application. So Redshift now provides customized best practice recommendations with Advisor. And if you don't remember, Redshift is a data warehouse service which uses machine learning and parallel query execution to deliver super high performance. And Advisor is a brand new feature within Redshift that provides automated recommendations to help you optimize your database performance and decrease your operating costs. And these recommendations are tailored to your configuration and are based on analyzing your cluster's performance and usage metrics. AWS Greengrass now supports code written in C and C++. And if you haven't come across Greengrass before, it's software which enables you to run Lambda functions, machine learning capabilities, messaging, and sync capabilities on your IoT devices, even when they are not connected to the cloud. And Greengrass now supports code written in C, C++, and any other language which supports C libraries. So this means that developers can far more easily reuse code that has already been written in C or C++. And this is also great news for high performance use cases where applications are often written in C++ in order to minimize compute latency. So on to the winner of Guru of the Week. And this week, the correct answers are B, D, and F. And loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Jared Reddy. And Jared is a software engineer at DRG in Kansas City. So congratulations, Jared. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. So the, this week's question is now live. Please see the link below for our Facebook page to go check it out. And that's it from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Gurus. And we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.